Let's introduce the ARMA model. ARMA is a combination of the ARP and MEQ models. Of course, ARMA stands for Autoregressive Moving Average Model. Now recall that we expressed the ARP model with this equation. And we can express the MEQ model with this expression. Therefore, when we combine both models, we get the following. Now we have an ARMA PQ model with the following equation, where C is a constant, epsilon is noise, theta are the parameters for the MEQ portion, and phi's are the parameters for the ARP portion. Just as before, Q is still the order for the MA model, and P is the order for the AR model. By combining both models, we can explain the relationship of time series with both random noise with the moving average process and itself at a previous step with the autoregressive portion. You must realize by now that we are starting to be able to analyze pretty complex time series. Here is an example of a simulated ARMA 1-1 process. Again, we will cover this example in the next coding lesson. If we plot the ACF and PACF, we notice that both plots have a decaying sinusoidal pattern. This is a clear signal that we have both an MA and AR process in play. So let's simulate an ARMA process in Python and see these behaviors for ourselves. Okay, so with the theory of ARMA covered, let's now cover the practical side of applying it in Python. This is actually going to be very short exercise, but it will help us to consolidate what we have learned. So I, as always, we import some libraries. So from statsmodels.graphics.tsa plots, we will import plot ACF as well as plot PACF. And from statsmodels.tsa.arima process, we will import uh, ARMA process. This is going to be useful for the simulation, as you know by now. And then we'll import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. We'll import numpy as np. I will also going to filter some warnings that we may get here. So warnings.filter warnings. Let's set this to ignore. And finally, the Jupyter magic matplotlib inline. Awesome. And then again, once this is done, I will simply set the bigger size for all the plots that will be in this notebook. Fix size is going to be equal to 10 by 7 and a half. Awesome. So the very first part of this exercise that we will do will be to simulate an ARMA 1-1 process. So an AR process of order 1 combined with an MA process of order 1. So simulate ARMA 1-1. So as always, we will define two arrays. So AR1 will be equal to a NumPy array and we'll pass in 1 and 0 0.33. So that's for the autoregressive portion. And MA1 will be an umpy array, and we'll pass in 1 and 0 0.9 for the moving average portion. And then we can combine both. So ARMA1 is gonna be equal to ARMA process. Pass in both arrays, so AR1, MA1. And now let's generate our samples. And sample is going to be equal to a thousand. Awesome. And now again, we can plot our simulation. So plt.plot arma1, plt.title uh, simulated arma11 process. Uh, let's already constrain the x axis because otherwise. Uh, it will simply look ugly, so from 0 to 200, and plt.show. Now we can run this cell, and you should get something similar to this. Awesome, so this is our simulated ARMA process. Now, as we have learned earlier, when we have an ARMA process, we can neither use the PACF and the ACF to determine the order.
So now knowing that we have an order one for both processes, let's check that for ourselves. So we can plot the ACF of ARMA1 and let's also plot the PACF for ARMA1. And now we take a look. So as you can see from the ACF, well, it seems that uh, we have a significant peak at lag two. And from the PACF, uh, it is sinusoidal and decreasing. And the last significant peak is at lag 11, right? So clearly we can neither use the ACF or the PACF to determine the order of an ARMA process. So now let's simulate another uh, ARMA process to really convince ourselves. So uh, we are going to simulate this time an ARMA 2.2 process. Awesome. So very similar. At this point, you can uh, maybe pause the video and try it for yourself. Uh, maybe after we, we define the arrays, uh, because we are actually going to do the very same process that we just did with ARMA 1.1, but we'll do it with an ARMA 2.2. So again, as an exercise, you can pause the video and try it on your own. So AR2 is going to be equal to an umpire array of uh, the following parameters. So 1, 0 0.33 and 0 0.5 and AR, uh, sorry, ME2 will be equal to a numpy array with 1, 0 0.9 and 0 0.3. Now again, let's generate our sample. So ARMA2 is going to be equal to ARMA process pass in both arrays and then generate the number of samples that you want. And in this case, I will generate 10,000 samples. And once this is done, we can plot our simulation. So plt.plot arma2, plt.title will be a simulated arma2 process. Again, we will give boundaries to the x-axis, so between 0 and 200, and we can show the plot. And once we do this, I get the following ARMA22 process. Awesome. So again, let's take a look at the PACF and the ACF to see that once more, we cannot determine the order of this process uh, from looking at those plots. So plot the ACF of ARMA2 and plot the PACF of ARMA2. And you should get the following plot. So again, from this ACF, uh, we have a last significant peak. Actually, it's very hard to say. It seems that we have peak all the way until here. So lag 12. And from the PACF, the last one is at lag 5, which again is not consistent with our process being of order 2-2 for the AR process and the ME process. So that's it for this video. Like I said, it would be very uh, quick. Uh, we will not do some advanced modeling just yet because in the next video, we will cover one extra feature of this model that we can add. And then we will really dive in into a full fledged uh, modeling project that will be more general. So I'll see you on the next one. So thank you very much for taking this free preview with me. As always, there is a link in the description below if you want to take the full course. The link will have a promo code applied to it already, so you can click on the link and you will get the course with 87% off. And if by any chance you click on the link and the promo code has expired, feel free to send me an email. It will also be in the description and I will send you a coupon code so that you get the course on sale. So thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.